Welcome back to Psychology of Addiction. With us today is Mr. Jeff Gaisley. How are you? Very good. How are you? Doing great. Thanks for joining us. So in your professional opinion, how would you define addiction? Addiction is a, is a really, really complicated issue. And I think it's something that is very individualized. In other words, I would look at a number of different kinds of addiction. But underneath all of that, I think that there is a problem with balance and homeostasis. There is a chemical reason short term why they're using anything to excess, mm -hmm. whether um, most of it is um, biologically chemical or emotionally chemical. So I would look at a more broad perspective, the idea of doing anything to the point that it is excessive and damaging mm -hmm. uh, throws it into the addictive spectrum for me. Mm -hmm. But there are different types of addiction. So with uh, sugar addiction, that's biochemical. If your uh, body doesn't process sugar well and you're allergic to it, you're going to overeat. Mm -hmm. And so the best way to deal with that is to stay away from simple carbs. If you're using overly because you have lost any kind of spiritual connection, or a feeling of hope in the future, I think you have to do a lot of work in the spiritual area and in occupational and emotional. Mm -hmm. um, many people are overusing all kinds of things because they simply don't know how to deal with their emotions. Mm -hmm. you know? So I would look at it in a very um, inclusive way where you have to look at the biosocial chemical systems oriented uh, place, but then you want to specialize what are the components because I just don't think that one uh, technique fits for all. No, no, you have to you have to treat the problem in its entirety because otherwise, you know, it's just trying to spin one plate as opposed to spinning all the plates. And then the plan isn't complete and so you'll have relapse and then you have to go ahead and and uh, plug those holes. And, you know, for years, treatment facilities and individual therapists just grabbed one particular model, held to it very rigidly, and it would work with some people and not with others. You have to learn their story first before you can go any further. Absolutely. Well, that's all for now, but uh, join us next time and we'll be delving into more information.